Thank you, Almighty God. Thank you, King of Kings. Thank you, Lord of Lords. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, we thank you for this day one of this intense prayer with fasting. Uh, for as many of us as have been able to wait on the Lord with fasting. Father, we thank you. Lord, we glorify you. Lord, we exalt you. Lord, we magnify you. To you be all glory. To our God be all honor, all praise, all majesty in Jesus' name. I want to start right away. And so join me to pray and say, Heavenly Father, I thank you for today. Thank you for this meeting. Holy Spirit, in the name of Jesus, we ask that you will help us to pray as we ought to pray. Teach us how to pray. Help us to pray. And let all glory be to God. In the mighty name of Jesus. Heavenly Father, we hand over this meeting to you and we ask that you take preeminence. We we'll thank you for this first day, this beginning of this program. Lord, we ask that you start with us, and Lord, we ask you will finish with us. You take us through the entire uh, days of this program, through uh, today, Thursday, through tomorrow, Friday, through Saturday, and through Sunday, which where we will round off the program. And Lord, all you have ordained to do and fulfill in this program, Lord, we ask that you bring it to pass. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Oh, thank you, everyone, for joining. Today, we start, and the theme, as I would call it today, for this first day is be an intercessor, be an intercessor. That's the charge I want to give us. Come with the mind and the heart and understanding of an intercessor. Nobody is too small, nobody is too big to be an intercessor. And there is great reward to be an intercessor. An intercessor has saved a whole nation. As an intercessor, you will save your family. An intercessor will save many lives. So be an intercessor. That's the charge for this whole meeting. Come with the heart of an intercessor. Come with the mind of an intercessor. Praise the name of the Lord. So with that, let's quickly look at Ezekiel. I want to start with Ezekiel chapter 14. We'll read from verse 14. And then we'll go to Exodus 32, verse 11. And I would put the two together. Ezekiel chapter 14. You probably haven't uh, uh, picked, this, picked this specifically out. There are three people in the Old Testament that God acknowledged as intercessors. So much so that when God wanted to punish the children of Israel, he first stated that, look, even if these three men, as if he was sending a warning to this one, no matter your intercession, I will do what I want to do. <laughs> oh, but I wish intercessors were around, as you would see, because God knows that when there are intercessors in the land, it doesn't matter what the offense is. Intercessors know how to get to God, for God to allow his mercy flow, because God is a merciful God. So let's read. Ezekiel chapter 14 from verse 14. Remember my charge to you, my charge to myself, the charge to every one of us is that in this season, be an intercessor. Because intercessors, God is looking for intercessors. Intercessors will save a whole generation. So we read, 
even if these three men, Noah, Daniel, and Job, were in it, they would deliver only themselves by their righteousness, says the Lord God. 15, if I cause wild beasts to pass through the land and they empty it and make it so desolate that no man may pass through because of the beasts. 16, even though these three men were in it, as I live, says the Lord God, they would deliver neither sons nor daughters, only they would be delivered and the land would be desolate. It continued in 17 and 18. Or if I bring a sword on that land and say, sword, go through the land, and I cut off man and beast from it. 18. Even though these three men were in it, as I live, says the Lord God, they would deliver neither sons nor daughter, but only they themselves would be delivered. So you can continue. But the point here is that God identify three people as intercessors in the Old Testament, Noah, Daniel, and Job. He identified them as righteous people, and he said, for the offense that was recorded in verse 13, he says, son of man, when a land sins against me, by persistent unfaithfulness, I will stretch out my hand against it. I will cut off its supply of bread, send famine on it, and cut off man and beast from it. Even if these three men, Noah, Daniel, and Job, were in it, he said they will be saved by their own righteousness only. But these three men are known to not only seek to be saved by their righteousness, because they know God will spare them because of their righteousness, but they have always stood for the others. This is what we want to do, to stand for ourselves, for our families and others. Because as children of God, God gives you a special place. One person that was missing here and I know it was not necessary because he, he had lived and gone, and it was in a special level, I would imagine, was uh, Moses. Moses. So go with me to Exodus before we come back to this. Exodus chapter 32, verse 11. Exodus 32, 11. Because this is the mind we have to have as we go into this season. Oh, God Almighty will spare your family. God Almighty will spare your neighbors because of you. God Almighty will spare nations because of you. Exodus chapter 32, verse 11. Let me start from verse 10. Uh, from verse 9. And the Lord said to Moses, I have seen these people, and indeed it is a stiff-necked people. Ten. Now, therefore, let me alone that my wrath may burn hot against them, and I may consume them, and I will make of you a great nation. Eleven. Then Moses pleaded with the Lord, his God, and said, Lord, why does your wrath burn hot against your people, whom you have brought out of the land of Egypt, with great power and with a mighty hand? Why should the Egyptians speak and say he brought them out to harm them, to kill them the earth, turn from your fierce wrath and relent from this harm to your people? Remember Abraham, Isaac, and Israel, your servants, to whom you swore by your own self and said to them, I will multiply your descendants as the stars of heaven. And all the land that I have spoken of, I give to your descendants, and they shall inherit it. No. So the Lord re relented. I like my translation. I know New oh, King James Version say repented. So the Lord relented from the harm which he said 
he will do to his people. Praise the name of the Lord. Can you see that? So, when the righteous keeps quiet, yes, God will spare the righteous, but God's wrath will fall. And so Job knew how to plead the mercy of God over his family all the time. And God acknowledged them. They were righteous on their own. You remember Noah, he was saved, spared, while the anger of the Lord kindled upon the land. But when it came to Moses, God said, my rod will fall upon the people. But Moses pleaded and God relented. As we plead, God will relent in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. I believe you studied the scripture that we shared with this mind as an intercessor, want to go before God. Psalm 34, verse 1, is where we start, which is thanks. And there are many other Psalms that teaches us how that we should thank and praise God. Of course, Someone, an intercessor, and one who knows how to thank God will always experience the mercy of God. The Bible says God described David as a man after his own heart. David knew how to praise and thank God. And so let's go straight and praise and thank God. Psalm 34 verse 1, I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. Beloved brothers and sisters, we want to bless the name of the Lord. We want to thank God for all his goodness and blessings to us, to you and your family in this year, 2021. So let's go ahead. Thank God and say, Heavenly Father, I thank you for all your goodness and your mercy and your blessings to me and my family in the year 2021. Go ahead and thank him. Go ahead and thank him. Now give him those specific thanks. Father God, I thank you for your goodness and your mercy, your love, your kindness, your provisions, your blessings to me and my family in the year 2021. I can indeed testify that you have been very good to me. You have been very kind to me and my family. Lord, I thank you for healings. Lord, I thank you for provisions. Lord, I thank you. I thank you for sparing my life and sparing the lives of my family. My wife, you spared her life. My children, you healed them and you spared their life. You protected us. Lord God Almighty, to you be all thanks, all praise. I thank you, O oh God, for what you have done for me and my family in the year 2021. Go ahead and give God your own thanks. Give him specific thanks for what he has done for you in the year 2021. That's our first point of thanksgiving. Father, thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Almighty God. Glory be to your holy name. List those blessings. Mention them. Magnify the Lord. Magnify the Lord for those great things he has done for you and your family in the year 2021. Magnify him. Magnify God. Magnify Jesus. Thank him. Lord. Thank your God. Thank our Father. To you, our Father, be all glory, all honor, all praise. You have been wonderful to me and my family. In Jesus' mighty name, we have given thanks. Now let us thank God for the body of Christ and the nations of the earth for preserving them, just like we saw. Oh, if it were just for the wickedness in the land, oh, the wrath of God probably would have consumed everyone. But God, by his mercy, has spared the nations of the earth 
has spread the body of Christ and many have done so many things, but God in his mercy, in his faithfulness has preserved preserve the body of Christ, despite all that has been going on. So go ahead and give him thanks. Say, Father God, we thank you for preserving your church, preserving your own. Even as the Bible says, the Lord knows those that are his. Lord, we thank you that you have preserved the body of Christ. You have preserved the church of Jesus Christ. You have, by your mercy, spared the nations of the earth that the nations can still continue today. And we all belong to one nation or the other, and we all can continue. Lord, we give you praise. We give you thanks. In Jesus' mighty name, we have given thanks. Let us continue to thank God again and say, Heavenly Father, we thank you for the year 2021 itself. We thank you, Almighty God, for all your plans and your purpose which you have fulfilled, you have brought to pass. You are indeed God that has demonstrated your power, your faithfulness. You have demonstrated that you are in charge over the year 2021. We thank you, Lord, for the year 2021. Go ahead and give him thanks again. Give God thanks. Give God thanks, Father, we thank you for the year 2021. You have demonstrated your goodness, your mercy, your faithfulness. You have shown forth your power. You have demonstrated to humankind that you are in charge. No man is in charge, no one at all. That man cannot lead himself, man cannot even rule himself. Thank you, almighty God. Thank you, Father. To you be all glory in all the confusion in all the shock, in all the failures of the institutions, Lord, you have preserved. You have brought your purpose to fulfillment. You have caused your will to be done. Thank you, our Father and our God. In Jesus' name, we have given thanks. Now let's thank God for this program specifically, this three days intense prayer, and the fourth day, we will be finalizing, rounding, uh, uh, have the grand finale, which will be Sunday. Let's tell him, Father God, we thank you for this three days prayer program. And Lord, we thank you for this platform that you have raised for us to be able to meet, to share fellowship with one another and with you, God the Father, and our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, in the presence of your Holy Spirit. We thank you, Lord, for the word you have been teaching us. We thank you for your power that you have made available to us and our families. To you, our God, we give all glory. In Jesus' mighty name, we have given thanks. Now let's thank God for the victories. Oh, there have been so many victories in the year 2021 that God has granted us. Go ahead and thank him. Father, I thank you for the greater victories that I have enjoyed, that my family has enjoyed in the year 2021, that we are alive to see the 16th day of December 2021 is one of the victories you have given to us, you have recorded in our lives. Lord, we give you thanks. Lord, we give you praise. Lord, we give you glory. Thank you, our God. Go ahead and mention those victories. Father, I thank you. I thank you for the victories. Oh, I wish I could mute the lines, bro brothers and sisters, and just do my own, because some things have been great. God has given us victories. Thank you, almighty God. You have uprooted wickedness from our lives, wickedness from our families. You have terminated the works of the enemies. Lord, we thank you. You have lifted us. You have granted us our heart desires. Things that have been challenging, things that have been difficult, you have given us victories, victories. We give you praise. Victories in the spiritual, victories in the physical, victories in the night, victories in the day, victories in our uh, families, victories in our businesses, in our careers, victories in the ministry. God, you have given us victories. 
You have given us victories in our services to you. You have given us victories that we, you have sustained us in the faith and we can look to heaven and call you God, our father, because you have saved us. You have delivered us from the power of Satan, from the power of darkness, and you have brought us into your kingdom, the kingdom of, your, of, of the son of your love, whom, where Jesus Christ rules as the king of kings and the Lord of lords, and where you have made us kings and priests unto you, our God, under the rulership of our Lord Jesus Christ. Oh, we just thank you for the victories. To you, our Father, be all glory. In Jesus' mighty name, we have given thanks. Go ahead and thank God now for redeeming you and for saving you. And if you have not been redeemed, you have not given your life to God, to Jesus, this is the time for you to pray that prayer and tell him, Lord, I surrender my life to you. Go ahead and tell him, Father, I thank you. I thank you for redeeming me and redeeming my household. I thank you for saving us. Thank you, almighty God, for all you have done for us, for the salvation of our souls. Thank you, thank you. Go ahead and give him thanks. Go ahead and give God thanks. In Jesus' mighty name, we have given thanks. Just take 30 seconds more and thank God for those special things that we have not been able to mention, we have not covered. Just go ahead and give him thanks. Tell him, Lord, thank you for this special blessing, for this thing you have done. I give you thanks. Go ahead and give him thanks. Lord, I thank you. I thank you, Lord God Almighty. Even for my own country, that war has not broken out. I thank you. It is all by your making. I thank you, Lord, for frustrating all the efforts and, uh, and evil plans to create even more problems in my nation. But, Lord, you have thwarted them all. You have given us, the, you have sustained my nation. You have sustained our country. You have sustained our nations. Lord, we'll give you thanks. Thank you for what you have done for us individually, personally. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you, Lord Jesus. To you be all glory, our Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have given thanks. Now we want to go into intercession. Glory be to God. Glory be to Jesus. So repentance and consecration, rather repentance and consecration before we go into intercession. As we said, for those who are joining us newly, I mean, uh, joining us uh, later at the start, we have said that our focus, or if you like, say charge for this whole program, this three days prayer is in uh, uh, that be an intercessor, that is the charge. Be an intercessor. Every one of us see yourself as an intercessor. And we read Ezekiel chapter 14 from verse 14 to 19. And we also looked at Exodus chapter 32, verses 9 through 11. Okay, uh, for those who just joined, be an intercessor. An intercessor saves a nation. Even an intercessor will save a nation. That is God's provision. Okay, so repentance and consecration. We want to use Daniel, Daniel chapter 9, and take that straight into the intercessory prayers. Daniel chapter 9. There you will see how Daniel repented so he could intercede. Daniel chapter 9 from verse 1. In the first year of Darius, the son of Ahasuerus, of the lineage of the Medes, who was made king over the realm of the Chaldeans. Verse 2. In the first year of his reign, I, Daniel, understood by the books. The number of the years specified by the word of the Lord through Jeremiah the prophet that he would accomplish 70 years in the desolation, desolations of Jerusalem. 
3, then I set my face toward the Lord God to make requests by prayer and supplications with fasting, sackcloth, and ashes. I believe New uh, King James Version used to make intercession by prayer and supplications with fasting, sackcloth, and ashes. No wonder in the book of Ezekiel that we mentioned, chapter 14, verse 14, God Almighty recognized Daniel as an intercessor. So much so God said, if his wrath is kindled against the people, if Daniel, Noah, and Job were in that land, they will save themselves. He will, they will not save the other people. But as I told those who started with me that no, 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 God knows that the intercessors will not let him rest. The intercessors will intercede till, like Moses pleaded, till God relented of destroying the children of Israel. And we know Second Chronicle very well. If my people who are called by my name shall humble themselves and repent, and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways. God said, I will hear from heaven and I will heal their land. So uh, we cannot read all. I believe you have read and you have prayed. So let's go straight because of time. Intercession, which I mean, repentance and consecration. So we can go into intercession. To be an intercessor, you must stay holy. And that's what Ezekiel chapter 14, verse 14, down to 19 that I, we started with recognize. God said, these three, if they are in the land, they will save themselves by their own righteousness. <laughs> but as I said, intercessors know that God will spare them anyway. But they, will, they then go according to what God has provided and will be interceding for others. I will, if time permits, I will read one more scripture for us. Like I charged us, be an intercessor this season. Even when we are finished these three, four days, continue to intercede. Intercede even for nations. Is that not what God said we should do in <clears throat> Psalm 2? He said, ask of me and I will give you I will give you the nations. Okay, so we start praying. Repentance and intercession. I mean, and consecration. Repent of all mistakes, failures, and sins in the year 2021. So let's pray together and say, Heavenly Father, forgive me, me, all my sins, failures, and every offense I committed in the year 2021 and wash me clean with the precious blood of Jesus. Heavenly Father, forgive me all my sins, all my failures, all my not carrying out your assignments, every offense, mistakes, errors that I have committed in the year 2021. Father, forgive me. Lord, have mercy on me and forgive me and wash me with the blood of Jesus. Go ahead and plead for your own life first. Plead for yourself. My Father, my God, I plead your mercy upon my life, O oh God. Ah, Father, there are many things, good things that I set out to do, which I failed to do. Father, forgive me for all my sins, all my errors, all my mistakes, all my failures. Forgive me, O oh God Almighty, for every offense I committed in the year 2021. And for everything, Lord God Almighty, that you, your expectation, which I may have fallen short, Lord, please forgive me. Wash me with the precious blood of Jesus. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. We're going to pray that same prayer for our family and say, Heavenly Father, please forgive me and my family. Forgive my family, my wife, my children for every sin committed, for every failure, for every error, every mistake, every offense, oh God Almighty, 
that my wife and my children may have committed, Lord, in the year 2021. I plead your mercy upon their lives. And I ask, Lord, please wash them with the precious blood of Jesus. Let no offense stand against them. Let no offense stand against me. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Now we're going to join our voices together and plead for one another. Every one of us that has connected upon this platform, let's pray together and say, Heavenly Father, we plead by your mercy. In the name of Jesus, we plead for your mercy. In the name of Jesus, forgive us, Almighty God, every one of us. Forgive our brothers, our sisters. Forgive every one of us connected upon this platform. Our sins, our iniquities, our errors, our mistakes, our transgressions, our failures, our weaknesses. Lord, we plead your mercy. Forgive us, forgive every offense that we have committed. In the year 2021, Lord, every offense in our lives, Lord, whenever it came from all the days of our lives, whatever offense has stood against us, whatever offense there is in our lives, in our family, Lord, we come together and we plead your mercy. Lord God Almighty, by your mercy, wash us with the precious blood of Jesus and let every offense be removed from us. Let every sin, every iniquity, every transgression, every mistake, every weakness, oh Lord God Almighty, be forgiven by the mercy, by your mercy, and by the blood of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name we are prayed. Amen. Now let's extend that to our own extended families, our neighbors, our church, our nation. Please go ahead and pray. Go ahead and pray. Heavenly Father, we plead your mercy for our extended families, our father's lineage, our brother's line, our mother's lineage. We plead for our brothers and sisters. We plead your mercy, O oh God. We ask, Lord, that you will forgive all their sins, all their failures, all their offenses. Father, forgive them. And Lord, we plead that you will cause them by your spirit to come to the point of repentance, that they will no longer sin that they will no longer commit offense against you, against one another. Lord, by your mercy, remove every offense, remove every iniquity from our families, from our father's lineage, from our mother's lineage, from our in-laws' lineage, from our friends, from our neighbors, from our uh, uh, churches, from our nation. Lord, we plead your mercy, and we plead, Lord, that by your spirit, you will cause the wicked to repent, to turn from their wicked ways and come to repentance, even as your mercy, Lord, prevails by our prayer and by our pleading and by the blood of Jesus that has been shed for all mankind. Thank you, our Father and our God. In Jesus' name, we are prayed. Now let's pray and say, Heavenly Father, I can't hear you. I wish you could open your line and just plead with me. Say, Heavenly Father, now fill me afresh with your Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus. And Holy Spirit, intercede for me, intercede for my family, intercede for my extended families, intercede for the church of Jesus Christ, and intercede for my nation, my neighborhood, Everything that concerns me, oh, sweet Holy Spirit, intercede for us. Intercede. Go ahead, go ahead and pray that prayer. Heavenly Father, fill me afresh with your Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus. And sweet Holy Spirit of God, intercede for me, intercede for my family, intercede for my extended families, my father's line, my mother's line, intercede for my neighborhood, intercede for the church of Jesus Christ, the body of Christ, intercede for our nations, intercede for my nation, intercede for anything that concerns me, my office, intercede for my ministry, intercede for anything, anything that concerns me. Holy Spirit of God, please intercede for me. Please intercede for us. Please intercede for my brothers and sisters. Please intercede for every one of us here present. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, our Lord and our God. In Jesus' name, we are praying. 
Beloved brothers and sisters, I believe you have reviewed the events of 2021. And we are now going to present them to God, our Father. Let us pray. Pray with me. Heavenly Father, I present my specific cases of year 2021 and my life in general to you, spiritually, physically, materially, socially, emotionally. Lord, I present to you, O oh God, in areas that I have failed in the year 2021. Lord, I present to you, my Father and my God, I present my desires, I present my cases. Lord, my struggles, the difficulties of year 2021, I present all to you. Go ahead and present them, present them. Father, I present all to you, O oh God Almighty. And I ask my Father and my God that the, the, the failures of 2021, let them end, let them cease. The struggles, the challenges, that I have gone through in year 2021, let them cease, let them come to an end. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father God Almighty, whatever you did not ordain in my life in year 2021 that I went through, Father, let it cease, let it come to an end. In the mighty name of Jesus, go ahead and pray your own case now, present them before the Lord, present them before the Lord, Present them before the Lord. Present them before the Lord. Heavenly Father, our specific cases, spiritually, physically, materially, socially, emotionally, and otherwise, in all dimension of life and existence, all that we went through in the year 2021 to this point, Father, we present to you, O God Almighty. We present to you, Father. Our challenges, we present to you. Almighty God, and we ask that let them come to an end. Let them come to an end. Whatever in the year 2021 was not ordained by you, Lord, that we went through in this month of December that we have come into this day, Lord, let it come to an end. Whatever has been in our lives, whatever has persisted in our lives in this year 2021 may have even come far before year 2021, Lord, now we ask that they will cease in our life. They will cease in our life. They will be terminated. Father, arise as a mighty, terrible one on our behalf and terminate, O oh God Almighty, spiritually, physically, materially, socially, emotionally, everything that you did not ordain in our life in the year 2021. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Beloved brothers and sisters, there are also things that we need to change. And so pray with me and say, Heavenly Father, reveal to me what is going on in my life now. Particularly those areas I need to improve and need to change. Father, by your spirit, reveal to me. Open my eyes. Open my understanding. Open our, life, our understanding. Open our mind. Father God. Let what you have ordained for my peace, for our peace, not be hidden from us. Father, whatever, whatever I need to know in my life, whatever is going on in my life, Lord, reveal to me. Whatever is going on in the life of my brothers and sisters, Father, reveal to them. Whatever has been going on, Lord, that we need to know, reveal to us, especially those areas that we need to improve in our life, those areas that we need to change to make changes. Father, open our eyes to see, open our ears to hear, open our mind to perceive, to discern, to receive, to understand. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Open your mouth again and pray with me and say, Heavenly Father, I present my family, my extended family, the body of Christ and the nation, and all that concerns me to you. And I plead your mercy. And I ask that you will reveal to all, to all in authority, what is going on, and particularly those areas that they need to improve and need to change. We pray this same prayer for all authorities. Lord, that you will open their eyes. You were the one who revealed by dream 
to uh, the wife of a pilot. You review to the wife, and he, she was able to tell the husband, I have suffered many things in the dream. This man is a righteous man. Lord, we pray that you will visit the leaders in authority. You will reveal to them things that need to improve, things that need to change. And you will give them the heart, Lord God Almighty, to change those in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Now pray with me and say, Heavenly Father, for the remaining days of the year 2021, Almighty God, lead me, O God. Lead me. Let things turn around for me. Let my desires be fulfilled. Let me burn for you, O God. Rekindle your fire in me. The spirit of evangelism. The spirit of righteousness. All oh, that I need to do to please you. Father, for the remaining days of the year 2021, rekindle your fire in me. Rekindle your fire in me. Let me do that which pleases you. Lord, supply the strength, therefore, for me to accomplish all that you have kept for me to accomplish in this year, 2021. All that I have desired, Lord, to do according to your will, supply the strength for me to be able to do them. Thank you, my Father, my God. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Finally, Brothers and sisters, let's open our and say, Heavenly Father, thank you for bringing me to the 16th day of December 2021. Heavenly Father, for the remaining dates, 17th December, 18th December, 19th, all the way to the end of December, Lord, go before me, go before us. Father, go before us. And make every second, every minute, every hour, every day safe for us. Father, go before us and let your goodness and your mercy encompass us all through the remaining days of the year 2021. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Now go ahead and add your own intercession. Oh, there may be that person that is, that is sick and you want to stand in the gap for that person, you go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, because we're going to collectively agree as we normally do. And God will answer all our prayers in the mighty name of Jesus. So take one minute. We're about to round off now. So take one minute and just add your own intercession. Oh, for your father's household, add more intercession. Many families will be meeting during this uh, season but many people when they meet instead of living in peace they live in trouble intercede there will be peace in your larger family there will be peace in your immediate family in this season the almighty god will visit your entire family by his spirit pray that that hardened person will repent will give his or her life to jesus christ Pray for the grace again, for the strength, and the word of God will go forth in this season that the whole world is remembering the birth of the Son of God, Jesus Christ. And it shall not just be a merry, merry, merriment, but the Spirit of God will cause the spirit of evangelism, the righteousness of God, to permeate everywhere. Go ahead and intercede. Go ahead and intercede. Go ahead and intercede. Thank you, our Father. Thank you, our Lord. Thank you, our God. Thank you, our King. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. We want to round off now. We want to round off. Some of us, I know you have been fasting. And for those who have not been fasting, joining the fast, it's not compulsory, but it is a good thing to do at this time. So uh, I want to encourage us to join. So I want to pray first for that. Again, thanking God who gave us the strength to go through the fasting today. 
and then pray for strength for tomorrow, and then we will agree and close. And again, we will send the focus for tomorrow and all that um, later tonight, actually, we will send. But continue this intercessory prayer, please. So we we'll pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the strength you have given to us to wait upon you to this day. And Lord, we pray that you will continue to supply your spirit as we continue in this program tomorrow. Give us strength to wait upon you and strength to pray. Holy Spirit, we hand over this program to you. We thank you for how you have helped and led us to this moment. We pray that it shall be even far greater tomorrow. Thank you, our Lord and our God. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Now let's agree together. Uh, you may open the line to say amen with me. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the glorious, powerful name of Jesus. Amen. Heavenly Father, we agree together. Yes. That all that we have prayed today as one body, Lord, according to your faithfulness, according to your word, for you have said, if two of us shall agree concerning anything that we ask, it will be done for us. And so, Father, we agree that all that we have asked, Father, may you do it for us and do much more than we have asked Amen. according to your faithfulness, according to your word, in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 And Heavenly Father, we agree. Even as we have asked that the Holy Spirit will intercede for us, we continue to ask and we hand over this entire program to your Holy Spirit. And we ask, Holy Spirit, that beyond what we have asked, you will continue to intercede for us and our families. Amen. That every plan and purpose of God for our lives in this year 2021, indeed, from the day we were born, every blessing of God meant for us that we have not yet received, we have not yet entered into every purpose of God for our lives, the position, the status, the level the anointing, the grace that we have not yet experienced. We ask Holy Spirit, you will intercede for us Amen. till all the will and the purpose of God for our lives have come to Amen. pass. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Now we agree, almighty God, Amen. that you will pour your spirit upon us. Amen. A grace, oh God, for us to do your will. Amen. Let us experience that unusual grace. Amen. Let us experience your goodness, your mercy, your favor right now, Lord. Let Amen. us experience your power like never before. Amen. Yes. The Bible says, they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mm -hmm. mount up with wings like the eagles. They shall mm -hmm. run and not be weary. They shall mm -hmm. walk and not faint. Out. Amen. Father, I pray that it shall be our portion, that nobody here shall be weary. Amen. Father, this is the end of the year. Yes. The time many may drop their guards. Lord, we pray not so with us. Amen. By your strength, by your spirit, oh God, you yes, will Lord. refire us. You will rekindle Amen. your fire in us. Amen. And we will run and not be weary. Amen. We will walk and we will not faint. Amen. Let your outstretched arm Amen. carry us, oh God. Amen. Carry us by your eagle's wings through this Amen. year, 2021. Amen. And Lord, one more time, we agree that mm -hmm. that year 2022, you will go before us 
Amen. And you will make it our year of abundant life. Amen. A year that we shall experience you in a greater dimension than we have Amen. ever experienced. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name, we have agreed. Amen. 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 And Lord, as we dismiss now, I, we ask that the food we're going to eat mm. will be refreshment. Yes, Lord. Will be, will be, will be, will be, will renew us, will be health mm. and nourishment to our bodies. Yes. Lord, we pray for those who don't have, Lord, that you will provide for them. Amen. Thank you, our Lord and our King. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. 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 So tomorrow, Amen. six again, we will connect. And please, we will send the guide on the WhatsApp page. And we will use it to pray. So remember, you are, be an interstate. Intercessor, you are an intercessor, and an intercessor saves a nation, a generation, and you will save your generation, particularly your own household, in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. God bless you, brothers and sisters, and thank you so much for joining. Bye-bye.